evening. It has been a long, long, busy day today. Uh, yeah, got a few bits and pieces done. Quite an interesting morning. I've just brought down a uh, <clears throat> a bowl of uh, alfalfa for his lordship. Evening, fella. How's your nose? How's it going? You can have it in a second. Yeah, interesting morning. How's it going, fella? How's it going? <laughs> um, yes. I drove nearly an hour to the dentist. I had no idea where this place was. And um, yeah, typed into old Satnav Sally. And uh, yeah, 55 minutes. I was like, oh my God, <laughs> I better get a move on. Um, so uh, yeah, I got there with like um, three minutes to spare, which was uh, a bit of a result. And the people there, so nice, so nice. You do have to go quite a long way to get a pleasant service. Oh no, actually I've had good service here, just not in the dentist uh, locally. Um, what is it with robins? You've got robins going mad in your garden as well. Must be the time of year. Um, so yeah, greeted so lovely, so politely. As soon as the door opened, the electric door, um, you know, bonjour monsieur, and it was like straight in there. And uh, yeah, I gave her my uh, bits and bobs that I had with me. I had a letter from the hospital. Remember I went to the hospital and that nutcase doctor pulled out my tooth with a pair of pliers. Anyway, he'd written that all down um, and put it in a letter. So I, uh, I gave it to the uh, receptionist. I think she was a nurse actually. And uh, she whisked me straight through for uh, an X-ray. Absolutely fantastic service, you know. And uh, this X-ray machine, nothing like in the UK. I've had X-rays in the UK. You know when you go, and go to you go to the dentist and you have an X-ray and they stick that piece of cardboard in your mouth. And then they tell you to bite down on it and it sort of digs into your gums uh, awful experience anyway not 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 here little tiny piece of plastic and just held it between my two front teeth and uh, she ran off like they always run off don't they x-rays are so safe they always run off um and this thing went round my head i was like it's <laughs> not like fantastic you know and she came back in and she said right would you like to follow me i think that's what she said and um yeah, straight into the uh, dentist office. The most polite dentist you ever wish to meet. Although she did look a bit red-faced and hot and bothered, uh, if I'm honest. Um, but very polite, chatted about um, chatted about the letter, the hospital and blah, blah, blah. And um, she, uh, she said, all right, well, you know, take a seat. And uh, she said, right, this is the deal. <laughs> this is the situation. <laughs> I'm not going to try and uh, upset your tooth today. It seems it's not hurting you. Um, she said, we only want one bad day, don't we? And I was like, oh, I don't really want any bad days, if I'm honest. But um, And then she said, I'm really sorry. I'm very tired. I was like, oh, OK, right. Yeah, yeah. And then she uh, got one of those sharp things out, and she had a little bit of po poke around. And she was like, oh, I'm exhausted. And I was, I was like, oh, right, OK. <laughs> this, is true. this is what you're telling me. Do you know what I mean? And she kept apologising. And she was all red-faced. And I was like... I was trying to work out what was going on. Like it's almost like she just either just split up with a boyfriend, or he was under a desk. I was, I was not sure what was going on. Do you know what I mean? And uh, anyway, so I had a little chat about what's going to go on. And um, yeah, on the fifth of October, I'm going to have root canal treatment, which we all knew that was going to happen. And uh, yeah, that sounds absolutely dreadful, doesn't it? She said, right, and then I will uh, sort you out a quote for a crown. And uh, yeah, I already know how much that's going to be as well. I've already looked it up and it's going to be about 900 euros. Um, so what I was thinking, so yeah, 5th of October, that's when it all, it's all going to kick off. That sounds like hell on earth that day, doesn't it? Roof, root canal treatment, I've had that before. Um, I was going to say, yeah, someone did leave a comment about the price of uh, dental treatment where they were. I'd be interested to know, I'm going to start mentioning stuff because I've got viewers all around the world just to see how prices compare with all sorts of stuff, you know? Uh, I bought a bag of uh, chalk today, uh, Blanc, uh, Chol Blanc lime basically, to uh, mix up my lime mortar. And it was 26 euros for a 40 kilo bag. I thought that was a lot of money. I can't, I've, I've had other bags before. I never remember it being anything like that. Anyway, um, yeah, so if you know how much you pay for lime, be interested to know how much it costs around the world. So uh, yeah, she said, uh, right, today's appointment, 
I was in there, like, I got out of my car, walked in the door, treatment. Ten minutes later, I was walking out to my car again. That just doesn't happen in the UK. It just doesn't happen like that. It was always a wait, always. And uh, I paid 23 euros for an initial consultation. That includes all my x-rays. 23 euros, so that's like 20 pound, isn't it? Are you laughing at me? Did you hear that? <laughs> did, you, did you hear that? He just did that little laugh. <laughs> You are laughing. Um, so yeah, 23 euros. And she said, right, the root canal treatment is about 200. I was like, okay, great. And uh, she's gonna sort me out a quote for the uh, crown. So uh, yeah, I'm kind of I'm kind of dreading that. Should we give him his... Um... <laughs> do it to the camera. <laughs> I've never known you do it three times in a row before. All right, let's give him his uh, alfalfa. Have a good sniff, won't you? Behind you. Oh, oh, oh. A bit dark in there, mate. Not quite sure I can see you. I'll leave you munch. So I've just had my dinner, actually, and uh, I had sausages. They do a sausage here. Can't think what it's called. I'll show you. Um, really, really tasty, but they just don't agree with me at all. Whether there's food colour in them, in them or something, but hardly any food agrees with me at all. Um, but they are so tasty. They're like a chorizo type sausage. Uh, yeah, if anyone knows something that's in those that um, doesn't agree with me, yeah, let me know, that'd be good. Um, yeah, as I say, loads of things don't agree with me. And I found a tomato. I think it's one particular tomato, and I don't know which one it is, um, could it be one of my neighbours, can't be one of mine, uh, that really doesn't agree with me. So, uh, yeah, what am I going to do? I found that uh, certain types of bread don't agree with me. Not that I should be eating wheat anyway. Uh, no one should be eating wheat. If you have um, think something like arthritis or fibromyalgia, yeah, shouldn't be eating bread, definitely. Um, or eating sugar. Anyway, so they cause me inflammation and then I have all sorts of problems. So I made a bit of a start. Uh, in the workshop got that cement to take off the wall uh, yeah trying to reorganize that that little workshop is like I, I'm not a holder but I seem to have so much stuff so much rubbish and it's just a faff and uh, I'm trying to take it easy but everything seems to weigh an absolute ton so uh, anyway that's reorganized ready for ready to make a start um, and I as I say I said I picked up a bag of uh, lime and I'm going to need to stay, uh, make a start on the walls as well outside, which I'm kind of nervous about. Thank you for all your comments. Really appreciate all your comments. I'm just going to have to make a start. And uh, yeah, I, as I say, I'll probably make another video or five just talking about what I'm learning. And uh, yeah, I did uncover, uncover, discover another disaster, another disaster. I'm not going to talk about it now, but um, yeah, uh, heartbreaking work that I've already done, I'm gonna to have to redo. Anyway, onwards and upwards, see you later.